I think my place is haunted. We got a sudden like notification today that it was gonna start snowing and I start hearing this tippity tappity noise outside my window at 7 a.m. Sure enough, you can't really see it to be honest because it's melting by the time it gets to the ground. Jet lag is absolutely kicking my butt today. We're gonna try to get to Ichiran today in Shibuya and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not too busy. I think it's about 3 or 4 right now p.m. Which isn't a typical time people go to lunch for or breakfast or dinner for. <laughs> Notice the column on the left here that says A0 to 3, A4 to 5. When you put in your final destination on Google Maps, it'll actually show you what exit you need to get out from from the subway, which is really, really convenient. Just look out for the signs on which exit you're heading out for. Yeah, as suspected, Ichiran is an absolute no-go on a Saturday. We're just sat here nearby. Talk about complete 180 on the plans. I totally changed. I went to Ichiran. Turns out you gotta wait like an hour and a half. It's a Saturday, I should have really saw, seen that coming to be honest, but I don't know. There was like a whole system of QR codes, couldn't be bothered, just went to like a nearby ramen shop instead. The bowl was a little too big and it's breakfast time for me technically on my time, so I could not finish it unfortunately. I'm in like a really residential quiet area right now. I'm gonna try to attempt to go to one of my cafes finally. I know it's only day two, but it felt like lackluster yesterday that I didn't go to a cafe because I have so many booked, or not booked, but like, you know, stamp to go i'm in like a bougie neighborhood or something because the houses are massive here like they're so freaking big i don't know if it's like a singular person or like a family one family living here but damn mine oh well thank you also i definitely just walked by one that had a security a whole security guard i mean look at this like it's all modern and angular and shit i'm sorry i'm like house flooring right now but frankly this was one of my goals to just walk around like a really deserted residential area to see where people live, how they live, I guess what families are cooking. <laughs> oh my god, throwback to these freaking bears where everyone was collecting them. These orange trees had me shook when I tell you. They were so fruity and big. This cafe was actually in one of the more popular areas right now in Tokyo called Shimo Kitazawa. It was really, really nice. Considering I didn't walk by anyone here, it was actually pretty busy. On the outside, the staff also looked kind of intimidating, but they were so friendly. Yet another orange tree. And the moon in the back, which looked so cool. It's almost a full moon. I think it's tomorrow that's full. <laughs> Okay, so I initially thought someone with a speaker who was listening to music really loud was walking behind me But then I saw the speakers and the street actually played music, I guess, to make it less creepy when you're walking at night <laughs> Listen Talk about a throwback, damn Sakura trees are also not exactly in bloom yet, but I saw this one right next to this tiny little stream I come to you at 10 p.m. tonight to talk about something that I feel like I already felt the second I stepped into this place. Okay, maybe not the second, but like the first day. So yesterday I felt this. And today I feel like I feel it even more, but hear me out. I think my accommodation is haunted. Let me tell you why. So the most major kind of vibe that I get from this place is that anytime I go outside or I'm out into the world, right, I feel so you know, like happy, energetic, I'm feeling great, fantastic. And the second I walk in here, it feels so depressing and sad and lonely. That's not how I felt like two seconds ago before I entered this place. Why do I feel like that now? Second thing, which, you know, you interpret and believe and whatever, however you want, but I'm not a denier, I'm not a ghost denier. <laughs> I'm not a skeptic, I'm open to it. I was just laying in my bed about to doze off and this intense, like really, really intense smell of cigarettes floods my nose. I know no one is smoking here. I know for a fact. There's two windows next to me. I went to both of them, smelled outside, no one is smoking. The second I get up from my bed as well, like just lift up, I don't even have to fully stand up. It doesn't smell like cigarette smoke at all. I tried smelling, you know, like the sheets, the pillowcase, the walls, <laughs> like my nose had been everywhere. I'm laying down next to the, the outlet as well. I thought it was from that. Maybe something's like burning. Maybe my charger is like malfunctioning or something like that. No, okay. It's a very, very obvious smell of cigarettes. And you know how people say like when someone passes away, you suddenly have like the scent from their perfume or a very recognizable smell that used to follow them. Nah, 
I'm not saying anything, but looking forward to more. Let me know if you're here with me. Actually, please don't. But it would be interesting. I think my place is haunted. I say that, and what the heck is my turtleneck doing? Oh, it's the... <laughs> Yeah, making my own signs it's the the, the 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 heating or at least i think it is no it probably is it definitely is but look at how it's suspiciously spinning around new dawn new day good morning everyone yesterday at 1 a.m we had some seismic activity going on initially i thought it was someone who just shut the door really loudly or something happened you know like they it was the exact same feeling as someone shutting the door because i had my head up against the wall like this and I suddenly went like, doo -doo. <laughs> the whole house like shook for a little bit. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's an earthquake. I'm going to go check online. But there was nothing. And then an hour later, I saw they updated it. And there was, in fact, a mini earthquake. <laughs> I've never personally experienced one before. So, you know, for a tiny little one and not too intense one, it felt like, whoa, really exciting. I want to get a disposable camera today. And hopefully my plans don't change or the mission doesn't fail. It's been my plan to get a disposable camera from a Lawson, but I've walked into so many Lawsons at this point and there are no disposable cameras. You need to go into a proper camera store probably. The other thing is I desperately need lip balm because I've been overusing the one I got from Korea and there's something in it that I'm allergic to because my lips start getting really like, mm, like lollop dolly cracked and they feel numb, so. I need to get something that I'm not allergic to. It's gonna be kind of a shopping day today. Kicking it off strong with hundreds of these buses for the host clubs that kept passing by loudly. Speaking of loudly, Shibuya on a Saturday slash Sunday is not a place to be. For some reason, I decided to do this on the busiest freaking day, but I thought it made sense to see Shibuya crossing from above. So I went top to the cafe called Magnet, bought a drink, bought a ticket, and then just saw everything from above and it looked kind of really, really freaking cool. I saw Dahyun from twice on an ad and here they all go like little ants scattering everywhere <laughs> there was an inside section and this tiny little wall where you could sign your name but none of the markers really worked but i still managed to try to get one that actually work so i can write a little note here comes another host ad bus okay i am pretty certain that i know this girl from social media but i couldn't find her for some reason but i saw these two harajuku girls i guess they were helping the guy film a tiktok but after they were finished they didn't even say anything to him they just kind of left it's all the mario karts which you need a license for and here's me waiting to get into a restaurant that i thought was big enough and would have places but it didn't so i went into don quixote instead and look at the fucking selection of vapes mate like what <laughs> i thought these were scarcity still had to eat and i was set on curry so i sat down at this place and then i saw alice in borderland i couldn't see what he was advertising so when i check later tell me why it's a freaking potato chip brand i couldn't even see the potato chip because everything's in gold if you're an idiot like me and think you can get into don quixote and leave with just a singular thing yeah no i also got my camera but it wasn't the one I wanted actually. I wanted the Fujifilm one, like the iconic gray one, but they said they had run out and they could only buy one at a time. I got it at Big Shibuya. <laughs> 